Hey y'all, this is just a touch of Jay and I'm coming at you putting it all out there in pieces, baby. And I just come oh from the gosh, did y'all spot. hear that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, man. Said it, I gotta make it. This is y'all already know what time it is. Yeah. Y'all already know what's up. Yeah. It is season six of part, the Power Review. Yeah. Episode 2 starts off with Ghost Child. Ghost is tripping. Yeah, y'all. Y'all, we know what happened in the last episode. He shot up the car. I thought he killed Tommy, y'all. Oh, my God. This is just a touch of day. I can't wait to put this out there in pieces for you. Listen, so he's tripping, right? They're opening up with basically him tripping. Okay, let me give you a little recap, okay? He went ahead. He killed Tommy. Well, he thinks he killed Tommy, okay? And he kind of has, like, some remorse going on because, see, Tasha told them last season, she told everybody, get their life in order, and she specifically told Ghost, you better straighten this out before it gets out of hand, right? Now, we know that what Ghost did was he had Tommy kill his father. Yeah, child set it up and everything so Tommy could kill his own dad. Tommy done murdered his dad, then found out, tried to go ahead and shoot Ghost in rage, because y'all know Tommy is off the hook. Okay, tries to shoot Ghost, which is like his brother, and Angela sees him at the top of the stairwell, pushes him to the side, she gets shot in the chest, she dies, okay? So Ghost is in rage, okay, the first episode, shoots up the car, okay? Tommy's car, think he kills Tommy. So he thinks, okay? So he's going all crazy, that's how they open it up. And then they show him, you know, they show him like watching like the car, like, oh my God, like I really killed him. You know, look at how I shot up the car. Then they show a quick scene with him with Jason. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, Jason is the connect, okay? The connect, you know, like the drug guy or whatever. He's working with Tommy and he's working with Ghost, but he's doing it on some old like flip the script type stuff. So he has, he has Ghost standing there, okay? Now picture this, Ghost is standing there. And he's like, oh my gosh, you know, Jason is like, ghost, you could have just messed up everything. You are costing me money. You are putting me and making me like a liability. And ghost is basically like, you know, I'm sorry. You know, Tommy had to die. Like Jason doesn't even tell ghost, okay, that Tommy is alive. Because remember, Jason's the one that set it up for somebody fake to be in Tommy's car because he knew that ghost was going to try to kill Tommy. So he doesn't even tell ghost like Tommy's alive. You know what he's says oh my gosh y'all shady he tells ghost you're gonna pay me a hundred thousand dollars every two weeks to keep you alive okay because you killed tommy okay don't even tell him that tommy is alive y'all this is just such a day this thing right here is getting deep and i'm trying to put this out there in pieces for you so bear with me okay so jason he doing all that trickery all right so now <coughs> excuse me y'all Ghost is basically tripping. Ghost is like, oh my gosh, you know, he's he's bugging out now. So y'all know who he goes to see. His main man, Joe. Yes, he calls him Joe, but his real name is Proctor. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> this is just a touch of J, baby. I'm trying to put this out in pieces for you. I got a little something up in my throat. Let me go ahead and sip on some of this tea real quick. Y'all make sure y'all listen to the checking out that tea that I got coming to y'all later. Because this tea right here... It's some good tea. But anyway, let's get back to it. 
I'm sorry about that. So, so go, 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 go see Joe. Yeah, Joe, his main man, you know, Proctor. And he's like, oh my God, Proctor, oh my God, Proctor, you know, I killed Tommy. Yes, he's like, I killed Tommy. Proctor's basically like, good, you know, on to the next thing. Now listen, and, and you know, he's going on with his life. And Ghost is like, no, 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 listen, I killed him. You know, he was my best friend. And it, it's the part where Proctor, it's a lot of comedy in this in this episode, but Proctor is basically like, I mean, well, you the one pulled the trigger. Child, Ghost want to go ahead and try to him Proctor up. And he's basically like, I need you to be my alibi. But, you know, Proctor, basically his name is Joe. He's like, I can't be because I'm dealing with all this stuff with my wife, so I can't even be your alibi, but everything will be okay. Proctor basically gets a knock on the door. It's some information where he gets served because now his wife is trying to just get custody, you know, of their daughter. You know, she's trying to go ahead. Remember the one that was on the coke? So now she's all of a sudden trying to be clean and she takes the bar exam and, you know, she's trying to get hired, you know, at a law firm to try to get the daughter back, child. This is just a touch of day. I'm just trying to put this out there in pieces for you, but it's a bunch of unnecessary stuff going on. So now Ghost basically leaves, um... And goes ahead about his business. So let's go ahead and fast forward to Tommy. Now we're going to talk about Tommy. Now look, Tommy basically is not really in this part a lot. You know, Tommy basically just knows that Ghost, in this episode, he knows that Ghost tried to kill him. So he's kind of like laying low. They don't really have him doing too much. They show him with Tasha a little bit. They show him with Keisha. And Tasha and, and Keisha, they kind of like feuding back and forth. Because I told y'all now Keisha is trying to do that whole Holly role where she's trying to be like, you know, the gangster on the side to Tommy. You know, and she's like, I don't want you messing with Tasha no more. Like, leave that whole thing alone. Now y'all know Tommy ain't never gonna leave Tasha alone. She was way there before all of that. Okay, so Look, this is just a touch of J. I just put that part out there a piece for y'all so y'all understand. Tommy's not really there. It's something else Tommy does. Tommy does a couple things. One other thing is what he does is that he goes to his um his workers. Because you know he in a drug game, okay? He goes to the workers. He's like, listen, y'all, um, somebody out there tried to kill me and they think that I'm dead and y'all can't say nothing. Just act like I'm dead and just keep doing what it is that you do. You know, the workers are kind of feeling some type of way, but Tommy is like, look, I'm dead. This is it. Okay. Let it be that. And basically Lala, shout out to you Lala with this body. I told y'all she got this body now. Okay. Y'all seen it. This episode don't look too, you know, crazy, but you know, just, just as such as Jay, that's just my opinion. You know, I'm just putting it out there in pieces for you. She out there with that body and she just basically like, you know, she's tripping a little bit because she had to throw that gun in the, in the river. You know, so she's all tripping, thinking the feds is after her and everything. You know, she don't basically want nothing to do with the St. Patrick's at all. So that's that whole thing. So now Tommy is sneaking around talking to Tasha and all this other type of stuff. So let's go ahead and let's fast forward to Tasha, okay? Tasha is basically kind of in this seat in this whole thing a lot in this episode episode two she's in this and what she's basically doing is the first thing that she does is that she gets up with angie's sister okay she's with angela's sister because angela's sister is all just all messed up you know her sister died y'all y'all know how that some of y'all know how that feel lose a loved one or something you know you're just trying to figure out what's going on so that's what she's doing okay so she finds angie's phone she texts the last number thinking that it's jamie but it's not it's Tasha so she says meet me you know Tasha meets her you know and she's just basically like where's Jamie at and she's like no you text me and she's like basically like well, what's going on why were you even talking to my sister and Tasha's like what you talking about like we was all working together in this thing right here your sister saved our lives ghost didn't kill you know um Angie that's not how it happened Okay, now ain't nobody gonna say that Tommy did it, but you know what I'm saying, y'all. This is just such a touch day. I'm trying to put it out there in pieces for you, and Tasha couldn't put it out there in pieces for her. She was just like, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? But she was working with us, and you better not say a word because if you do, I'm gonna let everybody know all this information that's on this cell phone with me and Angie working together. So you better not say nothing. So the sister just kind of just left like she can't really say anything. 
Okay, now, Tasha, okay, gets questioned by the feds, y'all. The feds come to her. Okay, because remember her and Ghost now, they doing this whole, you know, divorce thing. She wants a divorce. So she done moved out and Ghost is tripping and all of this type of stuff. He's back drinking again and all that. So Tasha, right, she goes to see, you know, Ghost because the feds come to her asking her about Terry. Like, um, Terry's missing. What's going on? You know, Terry Silver, the one she was, I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Y'all know she was doing that one too. That freaky diggy stuff with a child. And she ain't seen nothing wrong with no regular sex in that parking lot. Okay? When she was out there with Terry and Ghost saw her. So she goes straight to Ghost. Okay? And Ghost is like, wait a minute. How did you get in here? I blocked you from even coming up here as he's drinking. And she was like, listen. You know, I know you had something to do with Terry. You know, I know you killed him. Tell me, why are you trying to take everything that I love away from me? That's basically what she's saying to Ghost. And Ghost is like, whatever. He didn't like you anyway. So she's like, oh, you were there. You know? And he's like, yeah. I mean, come on now. Okay? So she's like, where's the body at? Ghost, don't say nothing. Ghost is just like, he was no good for you and you shouldn't have been messing with him. Blah, 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 blah. So she just basically leaves and she's upset. And you know, she's hurt because Ghost it don't want to give her no money, child. He don't want to do nothing. He is playing hard to get with Tasha. So you know where Tasha goes at now. She goes see Tommy. Okay, first when she goes see Tommy, la la, she don't want nothing to do with him, right? You know, nothing to do with her. So she goes and sees Tommy, and they got this little secret meeting in this at this little car dealership, child. Because Tommy needs another antique car. You all know Tommy got money. So they sitting in the car, they talking, and she's just like, you know, just telling him, you know, everything that's going on and how she can't believe this and can't believe that. So she knows that Tommy is alive, right? So then they get out of that whole scene with her and Tommy, and guess what happens? Tommy starts talking to Reek. Yeah, child. You want to know why Tommy starts talking to Reek? Because Ghost goes to go see Reek. His son, Ghost, got tears in his eyes. And he was like, I need to talk to you. Reek walks in and Ghost is sitting in the apartment. And he's like, well, why are you here? And he was like, I got to talk to you. You know, I killed Tommy. Because Ghost really thinks he kills Tommy. But Reek know that Tommy ain't dead. Okay, so Ghost like, what you, Rick is like, what you mean? And um, Ghost is like, you know, I killed him because he tried to kill, he killed Angela, but he was trying to kill me. He shot at me. So now Rick like, oh my gosh. And he's like, you know, when you walked in and you seen us fighting, we were fighting, you know, this is what Ghost is telling Rick. We were fighting because he had killed Angela. So Rick doesn't say that he knows that Tommy is alive. When Ghost leaves, okay. Mm. He says to Tommy, Reek hits Tommy up and Reek is like, yo, Tommy, um, why um, my dad came to come see me and he said you tried to shoot him. Is that true? And Tommy was like, yeah, I tried to kill him. And Reek was like, why? And he said, because he made me kill my dad. Now, the part that I skipped over was is that when Ghost told his son, Tariq, you know, yeah, Tommy tried to kill me, but he killed Angela. Reek asked him, why? Okay, would he do that? He said, I don't know. But he did know. So now Reek knows you made Tommy, Uncle Tommy, kill his dad. So what Reek says to Tommy is, well, look, if you try to do something else to my dad and try to shoot him or anything, could you just let me know first? Child, now listen here, y'all. What y'all think will happen? I mean, this is just a touch of Jamie. I can't put it all out there in pieces for you. But do you think that maybe Reek might kill Tommy? If Tommy tries to kill Ghost? Or do you think that, hmm, Reek gonna kill Ghost, his dad? I don't know, because I told y'all, everybody is off the hook. Tasha's off the hook talking about some ghost got to go ahead and die and you know and she was in the car when she was in the car talking to Tommy my about told y'all she was in the car she did say something about maybe we should kill him maybe he's better off dead y'all this is just a touch of y'all to put this out there pieces for you so look anyway so that we're gonna fast forward to that part right so he tells reek about that whole little situation there now let's talk about the feds y'all now y'all know what feds i'm talking about cooper Cooper sex, y'all, he off the hook. Cooper still doing that trickery. Y'all know people just be out there doing that trickery. They can't get their life on order. Child, here go Cooper. Cooper over here. First of all, Joe Proctor, you know, because you know Cooper don't like Joe Proctor, okay? So what he's doing now is he's working with the ex-wife, okay? 
trying to do some trickery with that. And then he's working with Angie's sister, trying to do some tricky with that, too. So we're going to go ahead, since we're talking about Angie, you know, God rest Angela's soul. You know, poor Angela, she's going now. You know, the mistress, the freak, you know, the, 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 the police lady angie was everything to everybody the sister the stepmom i don't know what she had going on but she was just everything okay so we talking about her now it's her funeral yeah child they at angie's funeral okay this episode was just like bam 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 straight to the point so now we at angie's funeral okay child guess who walks up at the funeral guess who walks up at the funeral remember how i did the knock at the door well, it wasn't no knock at the door, child. They walked up at the funeral, child. And I say they, I am talking about Ghost and Tasha. Okay, now the feds see it. The feds is like, hold on. You know what the feds want to call a uh, ghost? They want to tell Cooper Sex with his crazy self. He going to say, this nigga like OJ. <laughs> Chad is just such a jail. I had to put that out there. Pieces for you. He called him OJ because y'all know OJ don't play, okay? Like OJ, so they say allegedly. Okay, shout out to you, OJ. Listen. But allegedly, okay, OJ, you know, he did a little trickery, so they say. And you know, he was present after the trickery, so they said. So they like, okay, you basically doing this whole thing like OJ, you showing up after you done killed somebody. So they say, you know, and Cooper Sex got something to say about that. So all the feds is just like, I can't believe it. So they looking at ghosts, walk up with Tasha. Now the sister's crying. They're going on with the funeral. They wrap up the flag after they carry the body, load her body, body into the ground. You know, all that type of stuff. They give the flag to Angie's sister. Child, guess who else coming here? Oh my God, y'all. Guess who comes in there next? Tommy. And you know what Tommy does? Y'all know Tommy is my white husband. Y'all, Tommy walks up to Angie's sister child, give her a little kiss, and just basically holds her hand, you know, and be whispers to her, you know, I'm here for you if you need me. Child, Tommy gets the. Tommy goes back over there, basically just standing there, looking at ghosts. Ghosts can't believe it. He looked like he saw a ghost. And this is just a touch of J, baby. That is an understatement when I put that out there in pieces for you. He looked like he actually saw a ghost. Yes, child. I would have probably looked like that, too, if I thought I had killed somebody. They were standing there right next to me. And Tommy's standing there all confident, like, yeah, nigga, I see you. Gangster. Ooh, child, scandalous. Like, off a house party, baby. Oh, my gosh. This is just a touch of J, baby. I am trying my hardest to put this out there in pieces for you, okay? So, look. A ghost is looking at Tommy. Tommy looking at ghost. And you know what, in Not Angel. Oh, Tasha. Child, Angie's dead. But Tasha, child, you know what Tasha does? Tasha's standing with this smirk on her face. And Ghost looks at her and says, Now we talking about Ghost. We ain't talking about St. Patrick. We ain't talking about Jamie. Ghost looks at her and said, You knew he was alive. And you know what she does with a smile on her face? This is what she said. Yup. Ooh, scandalous like over house party. Oh my God, y'all. And this is just a touch of J, baby. That's it. Except for one other thing. I got to put out there in pieces for you, baby. Guess who's watching all of this while he's doing push-ups at home? Dre. Yes, child. Because y'all know they got Dre in protective custody. Because Dre got a lot of trickery going on. And I told y'all last week. I told y'all that Ghost had some mess going on. He wasn't going to be who you thought he is. Ghost about to be off the hook. I told you Tommy had some stuff going on. I told you Tasha had some issues going on. We're trying to get Ghost dead, maybe. I don't know, allegedly. You know, Reek really don't seem like he care too much either. You know, he like, just warn me in case you do something to my dad, Tommy. And Tommy's after him, okay? And now, Ghost knows. That Tasha knows that Tommy was alive. So he ain't trying to trust her now. Ooh, child. Okay. He knows Tommy is alive. So now he got to watch his back. Oh, my gosh. All full side. He don't know what's going on, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And guess what? I forgot to tell y'all one little thing. Why I didn't forget to tell you. Y'all got to make sure y'all watch out for tape. Because y'all know they brought my, my man Lorenz Day back here. Yeah, him and Ghost got a little bit of issues too. Boy, boy. Now look y'all, this is just a touch of J, baby. I had to put that out there in pieces for y'all. Now I got to give y'all a real quick recap. This all I'm going to say is 
y'all better watch out because there's a lot of trickery going on out here. Okay? Tasha ain't messing with Keisha. Keisha ain't messing with Tasha. Okay? Tommy now. Don't let ghosts know. I'm here, nigga. Okay? Now Jason too. Look, I'm going to drop a dime on y'all real quick with this whole Jason thing. Jason is playing Tommy and Ghost. What's going to happen with that, y'all, when they find out? Are they going to come together but still want to kill each other but take out Jason? So one of them could be the drug lord. Oh, is it going to be perhaps Tommy's going to take Jason's place? Oh, just, 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 just a touch of Jay. I don't know what's going on, but y'all better pay attention to next week. All right? So I just had to put that out there in pieces for y'all. I love my babies until next time. Strap, I'ma show you who to blame it at Can we all just get along? No. Hell no, not when you forget who put you on yeah. My blood gave me the keys to success <laughs> Take two and make three, they the best Push, not which, I got this Fearless, not careless, now watch this Money flip like it's supposed to flip Re up and double up, watch me hit the lake this is a big rich town Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just come from the poorest part Watch how you move in my city, ooh, yeah We kinda cool, we kinda but we pity cool, too, ooh, yeah I know a killer and he's still in school If I tell him that it's up, then it's litty, ooh, yeah They tryna line me for my sh- yeah, hoodie masked up, I wish you would try to get through Before I was rapping, I was like you, hitting like soon I'm buying everything like I'm too good for a rental You act like you know everything, you don't know what I've been through Send my coonie to pull up on you like Shug with the pistol He might hit you and it's been your block, with your friend too If you pull up on me and you moving wild, then it's the evil It's always on me even when I sleep, it's under the pillow They've been plotting on me since I was 18, when Kenzo Ain't written no jeans, make a movie, got me like fish shooting when I wasn't hard to get to They say this is a big rich town Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just come from the park